guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lambda Test. In this video, we are going to learn how to take a screenshot of the visible portion. Also, we are going to learn how to take the screenshot of a full page screenshot. We can also take screenshot of a particular region or a particular element or locator. Then we have a great feature like masking. For example, when we um, take a screenshot with login page, let's say that we have our credentials on that, right? But sometimes we have to hide the credentials to our um, client or maybe when we are giving some demo. So in that scenario, we can use the masking feature, which is really great. And finally, we are going to learn one more small trick to hide the caret symbol. Let's get started now. Let's take this website for our demo. So I'm going to copy the URL. So we are in the day five package and the class name is learn screenshots and we have a main method within the main method of course like the default thing we have to say playwright dot create and then followed by it's going to return me the playwright instance okay the playwright server basically so here let me name it like playwright and with the help of playwright we are going to launch the chromium and then we have to use the function called launch and that's going to return me the browser right so from the browser we can say like um, new page and that's going to return me the page reference right that's it this is how we launch this now you have to remember one thing whenever we deal with the screenshots we have to close the page reference as well as the playwright if you don't do that it won't work okay so of course we have to close like both the object or like all the objects okay now what we are going to do we are going to navigate to a particular site so page dot navigate and then followed by the url that's it very simple right so here we have to say page dot screenshot and you can see like we have two overloaded functions one is going to return the byte of array we are not going to use that but we can use that while we are going to embed the screenshot within the report for example when we uh, use like reports like extend extend report where we can send the byte format and that will store the image in the base64 format so for that we can use this but now we are going to see the screenshot so for that we have to use the second option that is the overloaded functions where we have to pass the screenshot options let's see how to do that so first of all i'm going to create an object for that so screenshot options and of course it's a class so we'll use the new keyword to call the constructor and then we'll just store this as an object okay then i can say like screenshot options dot you can say like set path so we want to store the screenshot somewhere right so for that we are going to use the set path functions and within the path we have to say where the path is going to be for example if i go to my project if i do right click on my project name and refresh you can see like we do not have any folder related to the snapshot so here i'm going to say path and this path is by the way from the java not from your playwright library okay so paths dot get and here we have to pass the url so dot slash in the sense like it's going to be your root of the project then followed by i'm going to create a folder called snaps and within the folder i'm going to create a file called let's name it like um screenshot Str dot png or jpeg you can use any of the format that's it very easy right now as i said earlier to save the screenshot of course we have to close the page as well as the playwright so that we will see the results or else you might not see the results okay so that's it very simple i'm going to right click and run as java application let's see the output it's going to be very quick it will just open the browser take the screenshot and it will close the browser and it will it will not also open the browser and close because we are running in the headless mode that means uh, we can take our screenshot both in head as well as headless mode so if i go to my project and if i right click and refresh you can see now we got the folder called snaps okay i'm going to delete this and just for confirmation i'm going to print the page dot title so that we'll know like we have launched the browser successfully because we are running in the headless so just for confirmation because whenever there is a sysout statement the console will open automatically or else it won't get to open okay 
So I'm just going to right click run as Java application one more time. And here you can see like we got the title. So the console is open and you can see this already terminated. That means of course the program executed successfully. So if I go to my project and refresh, you can see like we got the folder as snap with the name that we have specified over here. So I can open this within the Eclipse as well, but I will recommend you to don't do that. Just go to the system explorer. And if you double click, of course, it's going to open. So you can see this is the visible portion. So like whenever we launch the browser, whatever the things we are seeing that will be captured. But sometimes, of course, we want to take the screenshot uh, like full page as well, right? So we can do that very easily with the help of Playwright. So here I can say like page dot screenshot and within the screenshot, I have to pass my screenshot options and I can say like set full page and then I have to make it true. Okay, so that means it's going to take the screenshot fully and also I have to store this in the folder, right? So then I will again say like dot set path and then followed by paths dot get and you can pass the url i mean pass the file location okay so here we will say like again the same so within the same snaps folder we are going to create like um, full page dot let's go with jpeg maybe this time let's see what happens okay i'm going to right click run as java application one more time So the script is completed if i go to the particular folder and here you can see like we got the full page so if you want to see within your eclipse just right click and refresh so all the classes interfaces the other java related files will get refreshed automatically within the eclipse but when we are dealing with something like this which is not your src packages then of course we have to do refresh again and again so here you can see like we got the full page dot jpeg and if I open this, you can see basically we got the entire page. That's it, very simple. Okay. Now let's say that I want to take screenshot of a particular element. For example, if I go to this and let's say I want to take screenshot of this uh, sign up or maybe book a demo uh, element, right? So let's go and inspect this one. And here, let's see if we have anything unique. Yeah. so the button text book a demo is there so i'm just going to use that and here we'll say like page dot locator the locator value let's store that as a locator like book btn something like that btn means button okay and then i can say like book dot screenshot and again i have to pass like screenshot options dot set path and the path okay i'm just going to copy this paste over here and let's name this like locator dot png and of course we have to pass the path within the paths dot get right so here we'll say like paths dot get and the value okay so that's it we are pretty much done and here you can see like we are getting some error because we are dealing with the locator not with the page so here when i say like screenshot options it will control the page level screenshots but when i say like i want to take control of the locator screenshot then i have to say like new then followed by uh not this one definitely new locator uh, screenshot options okay we are not getting suggestion we have to do the import basically but i can do this like this like locators screenshot options okay so this is what we have to use okay so locator dot screenshot options and that's it we are pretty much done okay so what we have used here is like from the locator so this is basically from your if you see the um, import statement it's like page dot screenshot the package but this screenshot options is coming from your locator okay remember this if you want to control the screenshot of your page level use like page dot screenshot options 
if it's going to be locator then use like locator dot screenshot options okay and rest of the things are very same okay so let's go and run this So yeah the script is completed if i go back to my folder you can see like we got the beautiful locator bouquet demo of course it's small but yeah you got the idea right similarly if you want to take a region you can just pass the uh, thing for example let's say that we want to take this particular region the header basically right if i go and inspect this one and this is basically my header with the id called header which should be unique i guess yeah it's unique so we can just use this so instead of okay let me create one more time so here i can say like page dot locator then followed by the locator and that's going to return me the header and i can say like header dot screenshot and within that new locator dot screenshot options dot set path and within that again the same path dot get and followed by the uh, location okay so i'm going to copy this and paste over here and here i will say like region so region means it's basically the same the same locator only but with wider field okay so let's go and run this it's very easy like um, in selenium we don't have the direct function to get the screenshot options of course we have that in our selenium 4 but not in the 3 and majority of the people use like p so if you see this region.png of course you can see like you are able to get a particular region as well so that's a very simple thing okay so yeah now lastly we are going to learn the masking okay so for example let's say that uh, i want to enter some data over here but what are the thing i am going to enter if i take the screenshot that means i will be able to see that particular thing as well right for example if you go to our first one so okay here the input is hidden but let's see okay so uh, yeah let me show you that first one so let's go and inspect this particular text box and it has a id called something we are going to use that so here i will say like page dot locator the locator value and then i'm going to say uh, let me store this first okay And then we are going to enter some data so input dot uh, type and we'll say like something okay now when i take the screenshot it might not be in the visible portion but since we are typing i think it should do the automatic scroll if the scroll is not up happening we can also say like input dot scroll into view if needed that means if the scroll doesn't happen we can trigger the scroll automatically okay so with the help of this particular functions once that is done i want to take the screenshot of that particular uh, uh, page let's say we are going to take the page okay so here i can say like uh, this thing so let me copy this and let's name it like input.png okay let's go and run this let's see what happens Okay, so it's completed let's go to the folder and if i go and see this input dot page and here you can see like we got the something but the text is visible let's con let's consider this going to be like your um some credential info and we want to mask it so how to do it is very simple let me show you that but but here you can see like we got the full page actually because like here if you see we are saying like set path and the path but previously we also said like set page equal to set full page equal to two. that's why so if you want to make it false you can again you have to say like um dot set full page and then false okay or else you can use the constructor again and again so it will be like reset but once we have set it then of course you have to change it one more time okay so now we are going to do the mask right so for that of course i can say like again like uh, dot set mask and then i have to pass my list of locators so for example i can say like arrays dot as list and then the locator okay so so 
that's it we are pretty much done now let's go and run this it's very simple so first we located the locator and we typed and we are just using like scroll if needed and then we are taking the screenshot of the particular page where within the page i want to locate i want to mask few locators so rs as list in the sense like of course it's a list of locators so if i have one so i have passed like only one locator here so if you go and if you see the input.png file you can see like we got the mask so of course this website like uh, if you have a website where we are passing some credentials and we want to hide it in the reports or while doing the demo then of course it's going to be very useful okay so yeah that's it okay now the last options we are going to show and hide the character so what is show and hide the character in the sense like um let me comment this for now we don't want to do the masking because i want to show you that for example when i say like input dot uh okay let's do like this i'm going to relive this and here i'm going to say like input dot click uh, not clear i mean click so when i do the click action if you see here this is the character the blinking the something like pen is there right so this is basically blinking so i don't want to take that on my screenshot then i can say okay so here i can say like so i can say like page dot screenshot and again i can say like new screenshot options dot and then i can say like set character equal to false okay so that means the cat symbol won't be there okay and i'm oh, sorry uh, not with the boolean we have to pass like uh carrot screenshot carrot dot then followed by the hide or initial okay so if you say initial means it will show if you say hide it will get hide okay so that's it we are pretty much done and rest of the thing thing uh, rest of the things are very same so you can again have to say like set path let me show you that very quickly so dot set path and here i can select paths dot get so here let's say that carrot hide dot png okay similarly if i want to uh take the add symbol i can say like instead of hide i can say like initial and let's name it like init dot png okay let's go and run this let's see and we are doing the click action on the line number 51 because once we do the click then only that particular uh, thing will have the carrot right so if i go out and see this check this carrot hide you can see like we don't have the icon but if i go and open this carrot this one so you can see we are getting this blinker okay so that's the only difference of course it's a very small but the masking is really good options taking element and region level screenshot is also very good okay so that's it that's it for this that's it for this video i hope you have learned a lot of things only for taking screenshot okay if that helps do let me know in the comments i will see you in the next one very soon Ta -da, bye bye take care